What's up guys, Josh here with another video. And in today's video, we're really gonna take a look back at a video we did a couple weeks ago on the AOC G2490 VX. So the G2490 VX from AOC is a 24 inch 1080p monitor with a 144 Hertz refresh rate and one millisecond response time. And you can get all of that for $116 on Amazon. So the price of the monitor originally was actually 199 bucks. And since the last couple weeks or so, it's come down to $116 if you buy it from Amazon as the seller. Now the big detractor from this monitor is honestly the ghosting uh, and the smearing that occurs on screen when gaming or really doing anything uh, with the monitor. So I said this back when I made the original video that there's a decent amount of smearing uh, when you're playing games. And right now we'll jump back to a shot from that video so you can actually see the smearing when playing Valorant. So you can kind of see as we pan around in the view, as I'm shifting where I'm aiming, you can see some smearing as the gun moves across the screen. So the, the pixels are actually staying on the screen longer than they're supposed to as I'm moving uh, from one spot on the screen to another. So this is definitely not something you're really going to want to play with if the monitor is constantly doing it, if you constantly have an issue with ghosting, uh, it just doesn't make the game feel as, as good. It doesn't look as nice when you're playing. And that's honestly one of the bigger problems with the VA panels that this monitor and many other monitors use is that with a VA panel, you are more prone to ghosting than you are with the other types. So IPS and TN with TN having the least amount of ghosting, the best response time for the most part. And that's what we have here with the Dell S2719 DGF. So right now I just wanna take a look at this monitor. So it is a 1440p 144Hz G-Sync compatible monitor. So let's first take a look at our UFO test on the Dell to see exactly sort of what our baseline is. This is probably one of the better uh, monitors when it comes to ghosting. There's minimal ghosting, uh, if any, at best. So let's first take a look at the Dell and then we'll jump over to the AOC. So as you can see, as the UFO moves from left to right, there's very little ghosting on the trailing edge of the UFO. And, and that's really what ghosting is, is that there's a slight delay in the pixels right behind the UFO that they stay uh, correlated to the UFO rather than changing over to the background color. And you can see it just slightly a little bit of a trail behind the UFO. So that's what we're gonna use as sort of our baseline, something that if we can reach that level uh, on the AOC, that would be amazing. Otherwise, if we can get somewhat close, maybe just a little bit less uh, in terms of re reducing the amount of ghosting on the screen, then that would be an amazing result and should definitely make the playing experience on the AOC really, really good for the price. So now let's jump over to the AOC and do the exact same UFO test on our base setting out of the box. So when you take this thing out of the box, this is what you're going to experience. Specifically on this test, the UFO test, it could vary slightly from game to game or, or what you're really visualizing on the screen. But with this UFO test, this is really gonna be our baseline for seeing exactly how we can reduce our ghosting. Um, and as you can see, there is a lot, a lot of smearing. It's not as bad on the lighter colors at the bottom of the third row as you can see, but as we get progressively darker in the background color, you can see a lot more smearing and it's almost double the length of the UFO that you can honestly see. So this can be sometimes confused as motion blur, but for this case, it's really ghosting. You can see the pixels are just not quick enough to respond, even with the one millisecond response time, and they're trailing the picture of the UFO as it moves along. So there's a few different ways to combat this type of ghosting on this monitor and many other monitors at that. So the main settings that I found really reduced the ghosting were pixel overdrive, gamma, and our shadows. So there's some caveats to each one of these. So let's go through them really quick. So pixel overdrive is just pumping more voltage to your pixels so you can change them over faster. So there are other effects if you put your pixel overdrive up too high. You can get coronas, you can get some other artifacts where the pixels change too fast to a color that they're expecting themselves to be and then they have to go back to the color that they should be and you get a bunch of different artifacting if it's set too high. And then if we move over to shadows, so shadows is really going to try and reduce that ghosting pretty much throughout the entire screen. So it's really just gonna put somewhat of a whitewash over the screen the higher up you go. So this will make your picture Yes, reduce the ghosting, but also it's going to make it look not as good. You're gonna have much less contrast. It's the blacks are gonna look gray and washed out. 
and the colors are also going to look washed out, but it will reduce your ghosting if you're just purely trying to game on this thing and get the best results for gaming. And then Gamma is doing a similar thing where it's changing the overall brightness levels of each one of the pixels. Uh, so you have several different Gamma settings. On this particular model, you have Gamma 1, Gamma 2, and Gamma 3. So as you go up in Gamma levels, the brightness of the pixels changes slightly. Uh, and you'll see that as we jump through the different settings. So let's just jump into the AOC and see exactly what settings we can change and how it affects our overall picture and the overall ghosting levels that we're experiencing. So first we'll dive into the UFO test and then we'll take it back into gaming inside of Valorant and see exactly how our ghosting problem is reduced, what other problems we throw into the fold as well, and try to give you guys the best overall idea of what your settings should be. Specific to this monitor, you're gonna have to kind of play around with your own monitor to get the best results for gaming. With overdrive set to off and shadow control set to five, as you can see, there's a lot of ghosting here, a lot of trailing behind our UFO. But now as we shift up the overdrive to weak and medium and then strong, you can see a lot less ghosting behind the UFO. Especially on the bottom row, you have almost zero ghosting, a little bit of a corona effect, but not too bad and not so bad on the middle and higher row. But now as we shift shadow control up from five to six, you can see the whole screen gets brighter and that middle and bottom row have zero ghosting and our top row has very, very little. So now we're just gonna switch between gamma one and gamma two, little effect, but gamma two is slightly better than gamma one. And now in Valorant, you can see as we're shifting around, zero ghosting, no real blur at all. But here is a, a, a weird artifact in the game. So as we shift around, you can see some of these blacks just pull across the screen um, because the pixels are in overdrive. So there we go, guys. I hope that really illustrated the effects of each one of those settings on your overall image quality and your gaming experience, both in terms of ghosting and other artifacts that you may experience from changing some of these settings. So for me, for this particular monitor, for the AOC G2490 VX, I would definitely probably recommend a, a gamma of around two, a pixel overdrive of medium, and a shadows level of around six. Now this will eliminate your ghosting really, really well and also reduce the amount of artifacts uh, and also reduce the amount of artifacts along the way, but it will give the images on the screen a bit of a whitewash where it just seems a little bit dull compared to some other monitors that you may be working with. However, it will reduce your ghosting quite a bit and it should also give you a really, really nice playing experience no matter what game you're trying to play. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave those down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, definitely get subscribed to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can stay up to date on all my future videos.